Alright, it's time to rank another soundtrack, and this time I'm going to rank the soundtrack to Mappy Land on NES. Like always, I'm just doing the stage themes. So there are eight stages in this game. I decided against including the the house in stage six that you go into where it lets you play as the, uh, the original Mappy, or at least a variation of it. Only because it only appears in two out of the four campaigns. And it's, you know, like I said, it's kind of a bonus, in, in a stage within a stage bonus level kind of a thing. And I also didn't include the final bonus round where you're collecting items in a time limit for a similar reason. I mean, it, it does show up in all four campaigns, but again, it's kind of a bonus level, not a full-on stage. So that gives us the eight main stages. I'll preface this like I always do by just stating that this list is just my personal opinion. You can disagree if you want. Feel free to leave comments with your opinions of this soundtrack. I encourage discussion and debate. So, without any further ado, let's get on with the list. Number 8, Jungle World. This one is such a letdown, because the rhythm section is quite good. I love that jungle beat and the bass line, it's groovy as hell. But the lead riff, while not bad by any means really, is nothing more than a build-up. It just builds and leads to nothing. It just goes back to the intro section. I feel like if they had just added another section to the song, then it would have put this song up a few spots, maybe even to the middle of the pack. Instead, the song just middles around and gets boring pretty fast. Number 7, 7th Avenue. Now, honestly, I didn't put this at number 7 just for a gag. This really is the spot that I think it belongs in. It's an up-tempo, swing, rock type of song, very lively, it's got some energy, but it doesn't really do much for me. I, I can't put my finger on it, really. It just didn't ever grab me. Number six, Railroad Town. This is a great choice for the opening track. It's very accessible and inviting. It, it's nothing really special about it. It's just a catchy little pop song that you can hum to. It's not necessarily going to get stuck in your head, but it does have a decent hook. And like I said, just a bright, polished uh, little pop tune. Number five, Muki Town. The thing I like about the final level in the game is the way that it builds. It has a mid-tempo verse that has a nice steady little melody, but it comes to a, well, not really a crescendo, I don't really want to go that far with it, it's not that dramatic, but the refrain is explosive in a low-key kind of way. This is something that should have been considered with Jungle World. Not that it needed an explosive payoff to the build, but at least give it something to build towards. Yuki Town did it the right way. If it wasn't for the dynamics of the two sections, then this would be a pretty generic, plain song. Instead, it adds that dynamic and it makes something more interesting out of it than what it could have been. Number four, Tropical World. The riff in the verse is the big hook in this one. I don't even think that there's a refrain. It really sounds like it's verse, bridge, and then a solo. Like I said, the verse is the part that hooks you. So it's definitely different in that regard, structurally, but it's also unique in that it has some odd timing, despite the fact that it sounds pretty simple. The bridge and refrain, again, if you want to call it that, are really just the icing on the cake. It gives the song some variety by having three sections, and it keeps the main riff in the verse from being too repetitive. Definitely would have gotten old and irritating, actually, if the song hadn't been fleshed out. Number three, Pirate's World. The thing I like about Pirate's World and other songs like it that I've mentioned before in other rankings is the contrast between the lead riff being simple and methodical while the rhythm section is busy. 
I wouldn't say that it's a drastic difference in this case, but it's definitely enough to fill in every gap of empty space that there could be. The one thing holding back this song is its lack of material. It's really just one verse that has four measures with a few variants of the same riff. But the recurring riff is quite good, and the breaks in the melody give you a chance to hear the bass and drums driving the song in every measure. That whirring noise at the end of the loop is a little silly though. Number two, Western World. Remember what I said about 18 seconds ago about having a contrast between the melody and the rhythm section? Well, Western World does the same thing, but does it better than Pyro World. The drums aren't as robotic and straightforward. They're even busier. In fact, the whole rhythm section in general sounds a lot like Jungle World. But the difference here is not only is the lead riff much more interesting and dynamic, but it does something that I begged Jungle World to do in the first place. Include another fucking section. Now I don't mean to harp too much on Jungle World, but I'm gonna. Aside from the smart decision to include some variety in the song and not drone about like Jungle World does, Western World also has this really cool tone. The sounds of the instrumentation just mesh perfectly with the drums. It's a well-produced song. Number one, Ghost Town. I didn't really notice this until recently, but this sounds a lot like Pirate's World. Funny thing is, that contrast that I was just boasting about in the last two songs isn't there for this one. And even though it sounds like another song that does have that contrast, I actually like this one more. Go figure. The empty space that's there with the more sporadic drum playing really adds to the spooky theme of the song. And so does the creepy bass line. And the little bit of reverb on the main riff, which in and of itself is a bit creepy with the descending sustained notes. It's a simple song, but it sounds cool as hell, and the production is spot on. So that'll do it for this list. Here's a quick recap. Number 8, Jungle World. Number 7, 7th Avenue. Number 6, Railroad Town. Number 5, Muki Town. Number 4, Tropical World. Number 3, Pirate's World. Number 2, Western World. And number 1, Ghost Town. So that's it for this list. What was your opinion of it? What do you agree or disagree with? Feel free to leave comments, and I'll see you next time.